Hey guys, Mrs. Perez here, your computer teacher from Campus Charter School. I know a lot of you really enjoyed the scratch programming lesson we did where we made the cat draw geometric shapes and you wanted to show your parents. So I made a recording of it so you could impress your parents and be the amazing nerds you were born to be. Okay, so we're gonna choose our scratch cat and we're gonna start scratch. And now we always start with a control block. So we get a control block that says when space key is pressed, that means the space key will be what starts our main program. Then we get a forever if block. You can see it has a blank space for forever if what is pressed and we're gonna put space key is pressed from the sensing block. So forever if the space key is pressed, our program will run. Now we're gonna create a variable we choose make a variable and we're going to call it steps because this variable will hold the number of steps the cat takes. We grab a variable from the orange variable section. That's what we're going to use to put in how many steps. Now we say move 10 steps, but we want the variable steps to go in place of the 10. So that's what's happening now. We grab it and we drop it in where the 10 was. Now we're going to say turn 15 degrees, but we don't want 15. We're going, to, we're going to click that and replace it with 90. Hopefully you know what happens if we turn four times at 90 degrees, what shape we're going to get. But we want to see the shape, so we pick a pen down from the pen, the green blocks. And then just for fun, we're going to say change the pen color by 10 as you go through all the commands in the do loop. That way we'll have multicolored shapes. And now at the very end we'll change steps, the variable we created, by one. Now press our space bar and there's our shape. It's a square of course because 90 degrees. Now we want to try other angles but first we got to clear the screen. So we choose another when space key is pressed but we don't want the space key to do both things so we change that with the drop down arrow to C for clear. And we say pen up clear and pen up from the pen blocks. Then we have to set the variable back to zero. And lastly, we need to move the cat back to the center of the screen. So we want to make him go to, we pick a go to, but we don't want the numbers in there. We want to make him go to zero, X and zero Y, just like in a mathematical grid. 0, 0 coordinates are center of the screen. Now let's press the C key. There, it worked. Our cat is right in the center and everything's cleared. Now let's change the number. We change the number and we remember that we have to hit enter after we change the number. Otherwise, it's not going to work. Oh, wow. That space is a little too big. That's 300. Keep entering numbers in and clearing until you find the cat design that you want, the geometrical shape that you want. Could be an octagon, could be something like a star, depending on the number. And every time you change the number, remember that you have to hit the enter key. Now 120, of course, would equal a triangle. Have fun with your scratch program.